Hey guys, Gizmodict here and this is the camera review of the Motorola Moto M. The Moto M gets a 16 megapixel f2.0 camera on the back and on the front there's an 8 megapixel camera that has an f2.2 aperture. The camera app on the Moto M is surprisingly the one that you get with the Lenovo smartphones and it's not the one that you get with Motorola phones. There is support for 1080p videos as well and the camera has face detection autofocus. A lot of people were asking me if this camera is better than the G4 Plus or not. I don't have the G4 Plus right now but I do still have a few pictures taken from it which I will compare with the Moto M. Now coming to the image quality of the Moto M, in broad daylight the camera performs quite well. The saturation is good and even the depth of field while taking some of the macro shots is nice. The HDR mode also works well but the saturation suffers a bit when you are using it. Overall, it's a good camera in broad daylight, but things start to turn around as you move into indoor lighting conditions. The white balance tends to shift to the cooler side in indoor lighting conditions and the colors in the images tend to be on the bluish side. So the color reproduction is not very accurate in indoor lighting and there's quite a bit of noise in the images as well. Even the much cheaper K6 power from Lenovo did a better job at representing colors in indoor lighting. Moving on to very dimly lit conditions, even here the Moto M wasn't very impressive and I actually compared it with a few images from the Moto G4 Plus. So as you can see the G4 Plus is definitely better in dimly lit conditions. Although the focusing on the Moto M was slightly better, overall it's the G4 Plus which had more visible image. That's because the camera sensor on the G4 Plus has a larger pixel size so it gets in more light. So no, the Moto M is not better than the Moto G4 Plus in terms of camera. Even in terms of video recording, the output was decent on the Moto M, but it took a while for focusing while the video was going on. On the other hand, the G4 Plus has a laser autofocus system, so it got things into focus really quickly. The Moto M has an 8 megapixel camera on the front, so that should be better in comparison to the 5 megapixel camera on the G4 Plus. So overall as you can see, the camera on the Moto M is far from being impressive and in fact it's not even better than the Moto G4 Plus. That's really disappointing and I was really hoping that Motorola and Lenovo would have done a better job here. That concludes my camera review of the Motorola Moto M. If you guys have any questions or suggestions then do let me know in the comments. I will be making a full review of this phone really soon. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button below the video. Please like this video if you liked it and make sure that you follow me on my social media pages. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.